Hey y'all, it's Destiny and this is Destiny Reacts. So this is part two of Zolo's Late Night Live. If you haven't seen part one, make sure you go and see that one first. So part two will make sense because I'm starting where I left off in part one. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now let's get started on part two. On my baby mom, if she actually did talk to her, this is what's being said. This bitch said that my BM said I put hands on her. I got her kids taken. Listen, if anybody believes that, you're entitled to believe whatever you want to believe, okay? I'm not even going to go into deep detail with that shit because I'm not fixing to be giving, you know, these people the entertainment and views that they trying to get off of, off of me for free. But I will tell y'all this. If I actually, put this in your mind, if I actually, hold up, let me get y'all a closer view on me. So y'all can really see. If I actually put placed my hands on my baby mom, if I actually put physical hands on my baby mom, do y'all think by any means necessary that this bitch who is not my baby mama? Would have got away with pushing me the way she did and spraying me with bleach? Oh, I would have knocked every last tooth out your fucking mouth and reconstructed your fucking whole body for you. You wouldn't have to get no surgery. And that's just in real life. You feel me? If I actually put my hands on somebody. If I did some shit before, then yeah, I could do it again. So, if I did some shit before, why in the fuck wouldn't I do it again? And plus, we're talking about my actual baby mama who actually had my kid, who I actually can't understand. Like, I mean, I actually can't stand more than anybody in the world. Because this bitch took a lot of my daughter's life away from me. You know what I mean? Shit is being said. And it's bits and pieces of shit. It's only shit to make y'all think negative about me. Which obviously I can see a lot of my followers and supporters got the right sense to know what's real and what ain't. You looking at the real. You feel me? I mean, come on. It don't get no realer than it. But um, on another note, pretty much... My baby mom, okay, I'm going to just say this so that way y'all can stop worrying, wondering, and asking about it. My baby mama had three boys, okay? She has a whole nother baby daddy, okay? This the, is this the guy that had three kids where he, I don't know how I ended up getting with women that had dudes before me and they had three kids, but lately three has been the number for me. I end up with a chick with three kids. So, she had three kids already in the system. Already in the system. You feel me? That means she had to done something for them to go in the system, right? We're not going to speak on that. Because, you know, she lied to me plenty of times and I don't know what to believe. You feel me? With that, as far as that goes. So, but... She had three kids. They were already in the system when I came back. Okay? They got back out of the system when I came back. At the same time, while they were being transitioned back with their mother, who was, who was protecting her and, you know, not letting nobody know I was staying with her. You know, I'm, I wasn't supposed to be there. I wasn't supposed to be around her, her kids or nothing because my charges, you know, they claim I'm violent, whatever. It's crazy how that motherfuckers think I'm violent, bro. Like, I wish that I actually did become violent. So, a motherfucker don't have to be making up shit. The shit could just be real. I used to be violent. You know? 
but not really towards people like that. It's just, you know, they get me turned up. When I turn up, motherfuckers don't want to do shit no more because they see a whole nother side of me that they didn't think that, that I had in me. So, pretty much, I say this to say this. She got her kids back. She got pregnant with my kid. Guess what happened? Guess who had a case open as soon as she hit the hospital with my kid? She did. I wonder why. It was weed found in her system, right? Obviously, she was smoking while she was pregnant. Argued about that many a times. Stop smoking with my daughter. Nope. She's grown. She's going to do what she want to do. Cool. So... She finally has my daughter months later. You feel me? As soon as she has my daughter in the hospital, automatically DC up there. Case open. Why? Because you got weed in your system. So you have a, a, a you had a case open on your kids. The case really wasn't even closed. It was still like she was still seeing somebody for the case. But Anyways, you have my kid. Why in the fuck my stupid ass, here I go again, looking out. I wonder how the case got closed on my daughter. Who closed that? I'm going to tell y'all who closed it. You looking at it. Yeah, me. The same motherfucker they talk about, they're not stating everything. They're not giving y'all all the details. I'm the one that lied to them people. When they questioned me, when they called me, the man who signed the certificate, the father, mm -hmm. I'm the one that lied to them and said that they're good. Everything is fine. Nope. She's in good care. She's good in. Why? Because when I grew up, as I was growing up, I was in the system. You think that I'm a bad father because I can't see my child? Because I'm being pushed away and blocked and I don't have the funds right now to get the right lawyer to go ahead and get, you know, the paperwork and all of that shit. I'm getting everything together. That's I'm working on that. I think about my daughter every single day. There's not one day that doesn't go by that I don't think about my daughter. You feel me? So with that being said, I lied. So that way, my daughter could stay with her mother. I stayed with the mother for the sake of my daughter so that my daughter could have her mother and her dad and her dad. You feel me? That was all me. You feel me? But sure enough, as soon as they closed the case, what happened? She back to smoke weed, they the fuck about the fact that my daughter was in the room while she was fogging up the room. You feel me? Full of weed smoke. And my daughter isn't even two months yet. Yeah, any fucking real father in their right mind would say some shit about that. Would disagree with that. I don't want my daughter growing up even knowing what the fuck weed is. I smoke on outside on the porch. You can smoke outside on the porch as well. And monitor your kids. We take turns or some shit. But bitch, you're so lazy. You would rather smoke in the room with the baby. The baby got the bottle in her mouth feeding herself. You ain't even holding my child feeding her. You're letting her feed herself. My daughter could choke. She could choke, bro. Then what? Well, where was the father? Why, why didn't he try to stop or do anything? Bro, I've done everything I could possibly do. But, you know, enough was enough. 
I had to make a choice that was the most difficult decision in my life. Either stay here and keep dealing with this shit until she forced me to lose my damn mind and snap because of how she doing my daughter or just go ahead and accept the fact that she's going to do whatever she wants to do because it's her house and she's grown and accept the fact that she has full custody of my daughter because she has her own little section 8 house. You feel me? Pretty sure if I had a section 8 house, I could motherfucking get custody of my daughter just as much. And there wouldn't, there, that wouldn't be an issue. But because I don't have section 8 and I don't have my own house, you know what I mean? I mean, I have a, I have a, a home. This is not really considered home. But, you know, I don't have an apartment like her. Like, you know what I mean? Got the landlord and all that crazy dumb shit. But anyway, yeah, so with that being said, dog, uh, hold up. So, my part, y'all, I had to go see what, 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 but yeah, with that being said, I felt like this might not be the safest place for my daughter to be at, but at least she's with her mother, you feel me? So, her daddy had to hit the road and try to get shit going, and I have to come back for my daughter, you feel me? But guess what? I will be able to do that. I will be able to get her. She's she's always going to be my daughter. 